Our God is the grand designer. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 3 says, In whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Our God is the uncreated creator. He is a creator of all things. And as the Bible tells us, God just spoke and things came into existence. He said, let there be light. Light came. He, he spoke and said, you know, let the creatures come forth. And there were the birds and the animals and you know, all of the everything that we know in creation. He spoke and the entire universe came into existence. But here's the thing. The design for all of this was in him. That means God designed everything in his mind. And when he spoke the words, the words created his design for each and every little creature of his creation. Uh, when you look at uh, even a single cell and, and, and the wonder, the amazement of how a single human cell is designed or a single animal cell is designed or a single plant cell is designed or you go into the structure of the atom or you go into uh, just all of creation, various aspects. Uh, you look far out into the, uh, the, the, the galaxy and into the universe and you look at the grand design, how each one is in its place and how various parameters are at a precise value so that everything is held in place. And, and, and we look at the design, whether it's the micro design or the macro, uh, it's, it is so amazing. And the Bible says that in Him, that is in God, contained in God, are these unlimited treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So God is the grand designer. Now, there is, there is no, even if we put in all the computer systems of the world uh, to try to contain information of all that is there, and of course we do not even have the information, we don't even know and, uh, the information of everything that is there, they would not be able to contain all of that. And yet in this great God, in him are contained the design for everything, the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 3 tells us that the works were finished from the foundation of the world. That means even before God laid the foundations, he had completed the work. Meaning that in him, the design for all of this was already done even before he started creation. Even before he began to call them into existence, in Him, everything was complete. God had the design for everything. So we worship God as a grand designer, the great infinite God, who, uh, who is so infinite in His wisdom, so infinite in His knowledge, that in Him contain, he, he contains the design for everything. As man, we are only scratching on the surface, trying to discover, unravel the greatness of, of the design for various things. But in God, it is already there. And we worship Him for His greatness and His infinite wisdom, His grand design. Let's worship Him together. Father, we recognize that You, O oh God, are the grand designer. That in You are the treasures of all wisdom and knowledge. That God, everything was finished in You even before You laid the foundations of the world because in you, you had the design, you contained it. And God, as you spoke, those words created what you already envisioned, what you already designed, oh God. We worship you as this grand designer, the great God who has infinite wisdom and knowledge. We bow before you, how great you are. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.